In this video, we're going to do some margin of error applications, um, some margin of error word problems, if you will. Number nine, in a survey of 802 people, that's the sample size, 16% said they use the internet or email more than 10 hours per week. What's the margin of error for the survey? Round your answer to the nearest tenth of a percent. Well, um, we have already learned in previous videos that the margin of error, which I will abbreviate MOE, is um, given by plus or minus 1 over the square root of the sample size. N represents the sample size. So in this case, that margin of error is going to be plus or minus 1 over the square root of 802. That's the sample size, the number of people surveyed. Okay, so I'm just going to put this in my calculator. So 1 over square root of 802. Alright, so 1 over square root 802. I get this. This is the decimal form. We write margin of error as a percent though. So moving the decimal point twice, that gives me 3.5 percent. Okay, so plus or minus 3.5 percent. That's the margin of error for this sample size. Now, give an interval that is likely to contain the exact percent of all the people who use the internet or email more than 10 hours per week. Alright, so for the sample it was 16 percent. Now the margin of error tells us how far above or below that we have to go um, to make sure that the true answer for the entire population uh, will be within that interval. Um, so, you know, here's where the plus or minus 3.5 percent comes in. Um, the bottom end, all right, of this interval is going to be the 16 percent minus 3.5 percent, all right? That'll give us the low end. Um, the upper end is going to be 16 percent plus 3.5 percent. Okay, so that's going to give us the interval. Um, so, 16 minus 3.5 All right, we're talking about 12.5 percent. All right, so we have 12.5 percent. Okay. Um, on the other hand, 16 percent plus 3.5 percent is going to be 19.5 percent. All right, so this is the interval that is likely to contain the true percent of the population who uses 10 hours of um, internet or email. All right, it'll be somewhere in between these two numbers. Um, so, just writing this all out in words, right? That's what it means when it says interpret the interval in context. We're going to write a sentence. The true percentage of the population who use the internet or email more than 10 hours per week is likely to be somewhere between 12.5 percent and 19.5 percent. All right, that's what margin of error uh, tells you. Okay, um, let's take a look at number 10. In a survey of 1,100 home buyers, that's the sample size. 90% said that they use a real estate agent to research home listings. Now, what is the margin of error? Well, once again, the margin of error is given by one, uh, uh, I'm sorry, plus or minus one over the square root of the sample size. So that's going to be plus or minus one over the square root of 1,100. So, 1 over the square root of 1,100 is this. 
moving the decimal point twice gives me 3.0. We do, will not round up. Okay, so 3.0%. Um, okay, so that's my margin of error. Now, give an interval that is likely to contain the exact percentage of all home buyers who use a real estate agent. Um, well, our survey said 90%. So that's just the survey sample. The true percent of all the home buyers is likely to be um, this 90% plus or minus the 3%. Sorry, that was my wife calling. So that means 90% um, minus 3%. All right, that's the minus of plus or minus to 90% plus 3%. Okay, so obviously 90% minus 3%, that's going to be 87%. So 87% to 93%. Interpret the interval in context. In other words, write a sentence about it. Notice how in my sentence, I incorporate as many of the words from the original sentence, um, you know, the original problem as possible. So um, in the survey, 90% said, 90% of home buyers said that they uh, use a real estate agent to research home listings. Um, that was the survey. So the true percentage of all the home buyers who use a real estate um, agent to research home listings is likely to be somewhere between 87% and 93%. That's 90% plus or minus the margin of error.